Here's a GRE word problem. Let's take a look. Judy drove 20 miles from her house to a theater at an average rate of 50 miles an hour. Greg drove from his house to the theater in one third of the time it took Judy to drive to the theater, and they both arrived at the theater at the same time. If Judy left her house at 7.30 p.m., when did Greg leave his house? Oof, there's a lot going on here. But it can really all be boiled down to one equation. Do you know what that equation is? Distance equals rate times time. It is absolutely essential to know this equation. Distance equals rate times time. Distance equals rate times time, right? Anytime we see that we're dealing with distances, rate, and time, we want to write this down. Now, we do have two characters in this story. There's Judy and Greg. So let's figure out the distance, rate, and time for each of them. Let's start with Judy, right? So the distance that Judy goes is given to us. It's 20 miles. The rate that Judy goes is given to us 50 miles an hour. And so we have two of the three, so we can figure out the third. Judy's time is going to be distance divided by rate, or 20 divided by 5. 0 0.4 hours. Now, is this 40 minutes? Think about this. It's not, and here's why. Consider, for instance, 0 0.5 hours. That's half an hour. Half an hour, 0 0.5 hours, is not 50 minutes. It's 30 minutes. So to convert this from hours to minutes, I need to multiply this by 60, right? So 0 0.4 times 60, you can use your calculator for that, is 24 minutes. Getting units right is very, very important. So I'm expressing this both as hours and as minutes because we're probably going to have to use this. Okay, so what do we know about Greg? We don't know how far Greg traveled, distance Greg. We don't know what his rate was, right, Greg, but we can figure out his time, right? Greg's time, was, according to this problem, is one-third of Judy's time. So if Judy took 24 minutes to travel to the theater, Greg took one-third of that, or eight minutes to travel to the theater. Okay, now we can start putting everything together. And in fact, we don't even need to worry about Greg's distance or time. Because the question asks, if Judy left her house at 7.30 uh, and they arrived at the theater at the same time, right? We can just say if she left at 7.30, she arrived 24 minutes later. So she arrived at 7.54. That's when Judy arrived at the theater. Greg also arrived at the theater at 7.54, according to this problem, meaning that he left eight minutes before that. He left eight minutes before 7.54. Well, eight minutes before 7.54 is 7.46. Greg left his house at 7.46 p.m. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.